and that's what it looks like. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a unique nesting stove for the Stanley Two Cup Cook Set using this 30 ounce bean can. Stay tuned. Before we get started, I do want to remind everyone that we teach survival and bushcraft here in Southern Ohio at the Waypoint Survival School. You can find the details at www.waypointsurvival.com. Those classes start up again in April. We'd love to have you in a class. Check it out and come see us. To make this project, you're going to need a few simple tools. A pair of needle nose tin snips. These are made by Fiskers. Uh, also, a church key bottle opener. This is the bottle opener. This triangle part is called the church key. That's its proper name. Uh, then, of course, some sort of a sharpie. Then you're going to need some iron hanger strap. This is three quarter inch. I've had this for a long time. You're also going to need a can of this size. Now, this is a 30 ounce bean can. This is a 28 ounce can of stir fry vegetables. But what's important about both of these cans is that the Stanley pot fits in there almost perfectly with just a little bit of room left over and that's important. Of course we use our safety can opener to open it up so that we don't have any sharp edges on the top but that's what it should look like. After removing the label you want to take the sharpie and finding out where the seam is we don't want to cut where the seam is to weaken the can. We're going to make an opening. It doesn't have to be a big opening just part of the way around and you want to come up Oh, not quite halfway, but something close to that. And again, just make a small opening like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, just sort of a rough idea. And this, of course, is where we're going to feed the sticks into. Once we get that marked, we're going to turn the can around backwards, exactly opposite to where the feed hole is. I'm going to take the church key and we're going to put three holes in the bottom. So one right in the center and then one on either side. So just like that. I forgot to mention in the tool list, but you're also going to need a large nail. This is the 16 penny nail that I flattened the head out that I carry in my wallet so I can make emergency projects just like this. And then we're just going to punch through this and you can use a hammer or a rock. These work pretty well. These cans are not very thick, so they're pretty easy to punch through, wiggle it around. And that'll be our access. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and I'll file the edges smooth in so that we don't have any rough edges uh, to bother our hands. Now that we have that cut out and our hole nicely smoothed out, I also took a screwdriver and pushed down the tabs inside so that the stove can fit and nest around the cook set without having those tabs sticking up in the back. Next we take our hanger iron and using these larger holes we want to cut it off where each of these large holes will fit over top of the lip. So it looks like right about there That's where we're going to need to cut it. And of course we can use the snips for that as well. Just like that. And so we're going to need two of these, the same length. After you get that unrolled, you want to go ahead and flatten these out the best you can. And then using the snips, you want to cut three slots here, here, and here, all facing up. And on the next piece, you cut three more slots, two facing up and the middle one facing down. That's so it can form an X, so it nests inside of itself, or a cross. This is the cross piece. Once you have them put together, then you can fit them over top of the can, just like this. If you've done it right, if it's pretty snug, doesn't rattle and your Stanley pot fits right on top. Now the way this stove is made, it's multi-fuel. You can use Sterno, put it down in there, you can light it with a match through the hole. Of course put your cross pieces on top afterwards like this. And then cook. You can also use this with twigs as a twig stove and you could use this with an alcohol burner. Basically anything you can fit inside this kit that will nest, you have a complete stove set. And that's what it looks like. There's also enough room in between the pot and the stove that you can put some sticks 
vertically in the can as well and that just increases the amount of heat and burn that you're going to get. And already we've got a good rolling boil and that happened really fast. I mean it was three to four minutes. So very effective stove, really works quite well. Once everything has cooled down nicely, go ahead and disassemble it. Of course you will want to clean it up because it is kind of black and sooty and the first time you burn this it's going to have some of this liner in here. Uh, this is not galvanized so that you don't have to burn any galvanization off. If you do get galvanized hanger strap you need to make sure and do a burn before you cook any food over it. Next, we simply reassemble the stove putting all of our parts and pieces back together. And you want to slide these in first over to the side and there you have it. A very compact, complete set and uh, I think you can do a whole lot with this and it's cheap and uh, if you tear this up you can always make another one. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below just under the more button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.